How to fix incorrect version of driver vmc.sys when opening virtual machine in VMware Workstation. If you can't run existing virtual machine in VMware Workstation, try one of the following possible fixes, 1. Please do reboot your Windows between uninstalling VMware Player and reinstall a newer or older version of VMware Player or VMware Workstation. Note, after VMware Workstation is uninstalled, the following driver-related files remain on the Windows host operating system, in C colon backslash Windows backslash system 32 backslash drivers, hman.sys vmc.sys vmx86.sys vmkbd.sys in case enhanced keyboard driver was installed. In C colon backslash program Files backslash common files backslash VMware backslash drivers backslash VMC backslash device, VMSiver.dll workaround, navigate to C colon backslash windows backslash system 32 backslash drivers and delete hman.sys, VMC.sys, VMX86.sys, and VMKBD.sys. Navigate to C colon backslash program files backslash common files backslash VMware backslash drivers backslash VMC backslash device and delete VMSiver.dll. For starters, Try the recommended uninstall tool pro in this video guide so you can do a clean uninstallation of VMware Player or VMware Workstation. 2. A quick and dirty workaround would be to set, vmc0.present, equals false in the vmx file. Hint, go to virtual machine folder where all VMs stored, generally under document folder. Open each VM folder. Open .vmx. File with notepad++ editor. Search vmc. You will get a line, vmc0.present, equals true. Change true to false. Save the file, Ctrl plus S repeat same steps for all the VMS3. Backup all your personal data, restore your C drive or other disk where you had VMware workstation. 4. Go to Programs and Features in Control Panel, click VMware Workstation, click Change above, then run a repair. 5. Run VMware. Workstation as administrator when you run the setup and turn off antivirus if any. 6. Check if you are using any outdated driver in device manager. If so, update that old item. 7. Restoring the corrupt snapshot you created. Or create a new virtual system. 